Welcome back everyone. iOS 15 has officially came out, so let's go and compare it to iOS 14 on the iPhone 8. So iOS 15 is on the left, iOS 14 is on the right. So once I close out of all these apps, let's get into it. Let's do phone calls, three, two, one. And there we go. Let's go and hop out of this one. Let's do music, three, two, one. And 14 did look to be a little bit faster there. Let's get into the app stores, three, two, one. And we did get into a pop-up here. I think 14 may have been a little bit faster, but we can just kind of see through with the other ones swiping through. You can see kind of the same thing. I don't think there's that big of a difference here. But let's go and hop out of these apps and see if there's a difference there. Three, two, one. And you can see 14 does look to be a little bit faster when we hop out of the app. Let's get into multitasking. For some reason it didn't register there. Let's go and hop out of multitasking. And both look to be about the same there. Getting into the multitasking is about the same, but definitely closing out of the app, I think 14 may have been slightly faster. Let's get into camera, three, two, one. And about the same thing here, hopping out of this one, photos, three, two, one. And definitely photos was faster on the iPhone 8 running iOS 14. And definitely a lot of pop-ups here, photos. Even getting into the photo was faster on the iPhone 8 on iOS 14. Let's do stocks, three, two, one. And again, I think iOS 14 was the faster one there. Let's get into some of these third-party apps as always. So we have a bunch of them here. Let's get into something like Bofa, three, two, one. And you can see, I think iOS 15 was a little bit slower there, hopping out of this one. Let's get into Temple Run 2, three, two, one. A little bit of a pop-up here, we'll just click Allow. Hopefully that doesn't mess up too much. And surprisingly, 14 was still the faster one here, but 15 was a little bit right behind it, so not a crazy big difference here. And you can see 14 was the faster one, 15 a little bit slower. That's gonna do something like Dropbox, three, two, one. And 14 a little bit faster, hopping out of this one, Quizlet, three, two, one. And you can see it glitched up a little bit on the iPhone 8 a little bit there. Definitely faster on the iPhone 8 running iOS 14. Fruit Ninja, three, two, one. And it's looking like the iOS 14 device is probably gonna be the faster one here. Actually, I take that back. You can see iOS 14 was a little bit slower. For some reason, it glitched up there, but it would, did have a failure to connect. I don't know why that happened. I, we should be connected to Wi-Fi here. So Snake first blocks, three, two, one. And Snake vs. Blocks, iOS 14 seems to be faster. 15 was a little bit slower there again. Facebook, three, two, one. Even to click on the app was faster on 14. 15 a little bit slower there. Twitter, three, two, one. And 15 again was a little bit slower. So I think we have a pretty good understanding of which one is the faster one here. And I saw this on pretty much all the other iPhones I tested as well. RAM management seemed to be better on 15 though. It's definitely without a doubt that 15 is slower than iOS 14 right now, but it will get faster over time, I think. I think 14 was in a similar situation too, but you can see, at least on the iPhone 8, iOS 14 seems to be doing a better job at handling these apps in the background, which is weird because they have the same amount of RAM. So I don't see why that should be that big of an issue. And all the iPhones that support iOS 15 have two gigs of RAM. So I don't really see why that's happening. And you can see 15 does a better job at handling the apps in the background, where 14 does a pretty poor job at doing that. Every single app we did on the iPhone 8 running iOS 14 was slower here, was, was not able to come back up in terms of RAM management. So very weird, but that pretty much covers it up in terms of a RAM management and speed standpoint. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.